Meatball. Meatball. Um, I got a cat. <laughs> like every great J vlogger, right? You need a cat. So uh, my friend had an extra run and she kind of gave me her extra cat. So I'm going to show you Meatball. This is Meatball. <laughs> yeah, it's not a real cat, it's just a plushie. But it's like a real cat. It has feelings too, you know. Just less responsibility. And I love Meatball. Mm. Okay, bye. <coughs> On a more serious note, I want to talk about Nintendo. Not really the company per se, but the Nintendo 3DS. And actually, um, recently I bought uh, two Japanese learning games um, for the Nintendo DS. They're both actually for the regular Nintendo DS, not the 3DS, so the, there's no 3D capabilities or functions at all. But they're still very uh, powerful tools. And I've done research on this before, you know, unfortunately I did it in English, and the only resource I could find uh, to study Japanese with your DS in English was this game called My Japanese Coach. I actually bought that a long time ago, many years ago, and I used it and it was okay, it was good uh, for absolute beginners, but the point where I'm at right now, it would be just nothing. So I decided to look up Japanese learning games in Japanese. The first one that was uh, on all of the lists was one called Nihongo Kente DS. Nihongo Kente DS. Which essentially means like Japanese official certification or your Japanese inspection, something like that. I... This is really hard, actually. This is kind of hard for me. This is, I guess, more geared towards actual Japanese native speakers. It does say, Nihongo ni jishin arimasu ka? Do you have confidence in your Japanese level? And of course I said no, so I bought it. But it's really hard. Like, it has a toreningu training method, and it has mini games, um, it has tests, you know. Supposedly this teaches you, like, everything from vocabulary and grammar to kegel or like respectful language in Japanese which is super hard I hate but this is really hard and I don't recommend it for maybe gugakuse transfer student or study abroad students or even students of intermediate or advanced level in America in an American university what I do recommend is the second one that I bought this one is much easier. <laughs> I don't want to say better because, you know, quality-wise, they're pretty much the same, but it's a lot easier. And I think what it does is it separates kanji into the actual grades that they're taught in Japanese schools. So, like, level, it has level one, right? And level one is just 80 kanji characters, and they're, like, really basic concepts, one, all the numbers. Um, days of the week, elements, stuff like that. So right now I'm on level one. I'm starting from the very beginning because I don't want to miss a thing. Sometimes it gets really hard because it uses readings that you don't normally know. For example, Shinnin, Shinnin. That's uh, the characters for uh, forest and like grove, also could be forest. Forest, forest. This means forest. <laughs> together, Shinrin. But, like, I didn't know before before this uh, game, I didn't know that Mori, Mori, the kanji for forest, could also have the pronunciation Shin. Like, I didn't know that. <laughs> so, sometimes you'll learn readings that you don't normally use with these uh, kanji that it shows you, but I guess it's useful, so we'll see. It also teaches you correct stroke order. It uses pretty much every kanji character in context. Like it has a little phrase, and then the kanji that you're studying will be in there somewhere. <laughs> the example on the very front shows the 
character for kan in kanji. It has the phrase kanji o manabu, which means to learn kanji, to study kanji. It has cute little characters that go along with it, so it's, this one I also think is geared kind of towards Japanese, but I think it's also great for ryugakusei like myself, and maybe for advanced learners in other countries outside of Japan.、Um, I do recommend the Otono no Kanji Renshu Kanzen Han. I don't really recommend the Nihongo Kente DS one, unless you're very advanced and like you've lived in Japan for a long time and you're really good. Anyways, that, those were the two products that、um, I bought. There actually are more Japanese practice games. On, the, on like Amazon, Japanese Amazon by the way, you cannot find these on American Amazon. You have to go to Amazon.co.jp. I think it is. Or is it Amazon.jp? Yeah, Amazon.co.jp. Amazon That's where you can find these. And really all you have to do is just type in like kanji renshu or nihongo renshu or whatever, and you will find the appropriate games. Oh, and you need a DS. Actually, I bought other games to help me with my Japanese practice as well. I bought Dobutsu no Mori or Animal Crossing in English, and I bought Pokemon Alpha Sapphire.、Mm. And what I've been doing to help me、uh, learn, I really want to learn new vocabulary and also to reinforce like, the grammar structures I've already learned. So, what I do is whenever I counter a word that I don't know, I just、uh, record it. Into my、uh, Japanese dictionary app on my phone, into a list. I have one that you can make lists and then study them later、uh, through space repetition. And、uh, I've been going through that with new vocabulary that I've never seen before in each game, and it's fantastic. Pokemon has a lot of, a lot of really difficult words, really sometimes technical words.、Uh, I record those as well and I practice those, and actually my Pokemon list quickly grew very, very large.、Um, My Dobutsu no Mori list, my Animal Crossing list, that has a lot more useful words, a lot more useful kanji and、uh, verbs and stuff like that. I think I, I'll actually use those more than I will the, poke, the words that I find in Pokemon. They're both still useful, and I encourage you to do this too if you're more an advanced learner of Japanese and you're not in Japan, or if you are in Japan, buy a DS, buy some games in Japanese. And just go through them. See if you can translate what it's saying, see if you can understand it. Write down the words that you don't know or the grammar patterns that you don't know and study them later. Anyways, this is kind of my take on using the Nintendo DS for studying Japanese and practicing Japanese. If you guys have any other like, questions, comments, or even suggestions on how to better study, or if you have your own method for studying Japanese through video games or some kind of program, please let me know in the comments below. And with that, peace, guys.